Okay, um, I took the uh, ink machine from the SFM workshop and um, was able to figure out how to get the texture applied in Blender. And what was interesting was as a TGA, it looked fine in Blender, but when I came to Mesh Mixer, it didn't show up. And when I took it to Pepakura Designer to make it into a uh, papercraft project, the textures, TGA textures do not show or try to show up, but do not show up well. And it did not look right. So I figured out that I had to make it a JPEG and then it looks fine. Um, the Steam Workshop, this part here, the side panel and this are on the wrong side. So I'm going to mirror it and try to attach it over here instead. Um, let me show you what I came up with with the Papercraft. Because the model is giving me all kinds of trouble, um, the Papercraft just is not working well. Until we can edit the model and close these faces up properly, which I can't seem to figure out, um, I'm going to have to put a hold on making the Papercraft. And instead, what I'm going to do is just 3D print and apply the texture of the paper from Pepakura Designer, and um, we'll make it look like and hopefully function like the real ink machine with these gears counter rotating. I'm going to have to come up with a mechanism and a little motor in there or even a wind up uh, just to make that. That would be kind of neat. Just do a wind up motor um, and make them counter rotate for now. So that's my idea. Um, this is going to take a couple videos to bring to fruition. Uh, so far, I will show you what I did with the papercraft and how I have gotten a couple of these parts made. So. All right, now once you print out, then we're going to do the ink machine first. We got to do a whole lot of cutting. Cut faster! Cut faster! We need this done! We need it done now! Cut faster! And then the folding begins. And believe me, it's going to take a while to fold all these. Right along all these dotted lines. Fold, fold, fold. So, I'm not going to bore you guys, because it's going to really take a long time. Um, so, I'll be back after I fold all these. When I start to glue them, now some of them are kind of hard to see. I may have to re refer back to the original Pepakura, because some of these are very hard to see in the darker areas. So, we will continue to fold and get back to you once we're all folded up here, okay? And what would it be without uh, some cringy song? We like to fold it. We like to fold it. We like to fold it. Oh, okay. All right. This is either a very good patience developer or a complete and total waste of time. So now we gotta go get the paste and start gluing each and every one of these little tabs together. You think you can do it? Well, I need to get some paste because I don't have any paste down here. Would you like to go get some paste for me? Go get me some uh, some sticky glue. Patience, Daniel son. You must paste, then fold, pinch, and hold. Wipe on, wipe off. Wipe on, wipe off. Words of wisdom when it comes to papercraft. In the next video, I will show you how I 3D print the model and apply the papercraft texture right to the outside of it. Um, otherwise, this video is going to get really long and this was just to show how the papercraft idea came about and now we'll make it all functional. Subscribe to follow my progress on this print. Um, I'm also printing some other models from Chapter 1 of Bendy and the Ink Machine.